Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple of months I guess but now it is the school summer holidays and I'm free to do things that aren't school related. I've currently got a um, burnt nose. <laughs> I spent eight days on guide camp so I'm a guide leader. I'm, I've am i nearly finished my qualification. I've been a guide leader for four years but because of lockdown I didn't get to finish my guiding qualification but I'm one of the guide leaders in the village that I live in and um, yeah we took nearly 30, I think it was 38 girls away for nine days but we did a staggered camp because of Covid. Mm. <laughs> it was uh, work but it was thoroughly enjoyable. Anyway, I'm here today with a video about a bag and I haven't done a what's in my bag video for a really long time. So when lockdown restrictions started easing, me and Nick went to London and we spent time in Covent Garden and they had the Cambridge Satchel Company outlet in Covent Garden. It's now moved to Carnaby Street. But I went into the store willy-nilly and I have coveted the doctor's bag for years, absolutely years, and they had a huge like discount, thirty percent off, and I just went, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. Now I always thought I'd buy it in black, but I bought it in burgundy. I've moved away from black. She's wearing black right now, but I, I, I'm into more reds and things like that. I mean, my hair is really red as well, so like red is like my thing right now. I bought this dark burgundy doctor's bag. Now I wear it with the strap, but sometimes it does get a little bit heavy. So I do take it in the handle like this, but this is the coolest bag ever because you can fit so much tripe in here. And I just love having a bag. You can fit loads of stuff in. It's really easy to open. You just pull the lock and there we go. It opens and there's all the stuff that's in my bag so i'm going to show you what i carry around on a day-to-day -day basis it makes me all lopsided because i carry so much around i've got a letter that needs to go in the post box here and that's uh to my pen pal because i'm that sad i have a pen pal <laughs> that needs to go in like the post now because i promised her that'll be in the post last week and i didn't do it i've got my sunglasses which are just cheapy ebay sunglasses I thought they're kind of funky kind of I don't know what era these are supposed to be but I dig them they're plastic sunglasses they're really weird when you drive in them all the cars that have got halogen lights or like led lights it makes them look really blue and orange it's like a weird blue orange hue it's odd um I've got my makeup pouch now this is a uh, strawberry thief and this was part of a set from a Liberty collection that was released, I want to say April time, like a hand collection. So I had nail varnish and hand gel and all that stuff in it. Really nice. And I keep my makeup in here. It's like a coated bag. So it's wipe clean, which is really nice. And in here, I've got some hand sanitizer. And that's from the Great Frog in London. I've got a little hairbrush, which is silly because I don't have much hair but it's one of these little Damon miniature turning out ones. I've had this for about 15 years. It's it's really old, but I love it so much. What else have I got in here? I've got a compact. I bought this recently at a vintage fair that I went to with my mum and my pen pal, actually. And I've put some powder in here. In fact, I've made a video on how to refill a compact so this is just one of the many compacts i've refilled and it's red because i'm into red at the minute this is like six quid you know cheaper than the actual makeup that goes in it what else have we got in here a jeffree star lipstick i really love jeffree star's formulas but i found that i didn't wear a lot of lipstick because of lockdown and mask wearing and it's all gone off so i need to like replace it or throw it away quite frankly and then I've got two other lipsticks in here but these are in vintage refills so I've got oop, oh, this one is uh, a Rimmel 
and maybe not a Rimmel, maybe a L'Oreal lipstick in this one, one of my favourites. So much of a favourite that I don't remember the brand name. And then this one is a Max Factor lipstick, I think. I could be lying, it might be a Maybelline one, but it's, yeah, oh, actually, no, it's a Maybelline lipstick in there. So there are some lipsticks. There we go, that's all my makeup. What else have I got in this bag? My wallet. This has been in many, 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 many videos. This is my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet, and I bought this about 14 years ago. I, it might be less than that, but I bought this with my Golden Hello from when I qualified to be a teacher. I've had this forever. I love it. I use it daily. I've got my initials. I've got my middle initials imprinted on it because I bought this before I was married. That's how long I've had this wallet. It was like £190 back when I bought it. A lot of money. Now these sell for double that. So, yeah, I, I love this. I've got the Emily in the vert. Don't need to replace it ever. I will have this wallet forever and ever and ever. This is my daily wallet. I think it looks practically brand new there's some wearing and stuff on it look but i've had this wallet the whole time i've been a teacher and i've been a teacher for nearly 14 years so yeah that's my wallet what else have i got i've got my card case because i can't fit all my cards in my emily wallet and it's a uh, william morris strawberry thief one my mum works in a haberdashers and they sell little bits like this and this was a christmas present last year I've got my car keys, which have got, you know, your regular things on, car keys and key rings. This is a special key ring. This is from Chatham Dockyards, the uh, rope makers. And this was the last trip that my girl guides made out before lockdown. We made this the Saturday and then we went into lockdown on the Monday. So this is a special, special key ring. But the rest are just regular keys. Um the fob to my gym and cards for shops that I shop in. What else? Uh, I've got a little baggie from Etsy. It's a little book baggie, The Hound of the Baskervilles. And in it, I keep masks because I still wear masks, even though it's not mandatory. I think it's important to protect people around me. I could be asymptomatic. I'm not because I did a COVID test today. My masks are all Liberty Print fabrics and they are comfy to wear. And the last thing that I have in my bag is my Kindle in a little patchwork Liberty Print bag that I made myself the first time I've ever made patchwork. I'm pretty proud of myself for making this. And I've got a little Kindle in here and I'm currently reading. <laughs> this is so sad. Let me swipe up. I'll tell you what I'm currently reading. I'm not very au fait with Kindles. Here we go. I'm on chapter 13 of the fourth book of the famous five <laughs> books. And I don't care what people say about Inib Blyton. I grew up reading Inib Blyton books and I'm rereading them because I really struggled to read. Um, a couple of years ago, I was on some medication that meant that I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't read, and now I'm rereading books I read as a child, and I read four books last week. Um, I hadn't read books for years. It just got me back into reading. So that is the bag and all the bits that I've got in it. In the pocket, oh, this is so sad. I've got a handkerchief, like a proper old lady. What else have I got in here? Oh, a retro, a card, Carnation Retro Clothing and Collectibles, handmade vintage with a modern twist. Oh, it's a card for a lady I met at a, a fair that I went to. And I've also got a key in here, I think. A little key for this bag because you can lock it because it is a doctor's bag, but I'm never going to lock it. So I keep the key in there. What a beautiful bag and what a lot of stuff it holds. So there we go. I haven't done one of these what's in my bag videos for so long because like I'm sure no one cares, but there, that's that's what I have in my bag. These bags are really overpriced, but really, really funky. And I think I'm gonna wear it for a very long time. So yeah, weird video. I still struggle to make videos because it's like 
it's unnatural and weird because I don't make very many of them but I hope that it was enjoyable I don't know anyway thanks for watching if you did watch um take care thanks for continuing to support my channel not that it does anything I just I'm just putting my random mouth farts out here on the internet um take care thank you for watching bye